When buying your Sony a6400, there are some accessories that you need to consider. I'm gonna share with you today in this video the top five accessories that you'll be interested in for the Sony a6400. Let's roll that intro. Welcome to Ben's Guide, your guide to the best news, reviews, and how-tos from the world of photography and video. Today I'm sharing with you the top five accessories that you will need for the Sony a6400. If you haven't yet got the a6400 and you're undecided, but you're considering buying it, then check out my full in-depth review, which you can click on above. This is gonna go into focusing, the video, the photography side of the camera, and everything that you need to know. Okay guys, let's jump in. Sony have promoted the a6400 as a vlogging camera, and rightly so. It has a flippy uppy screen, which means that you can see yourself when you're recording. The problem being that if you want any accessories going on top with a horseshoe mount, it's gonna block the view. This is a strong oversight by Sony and uh, rather a strange decision that they made. The good news is the first accessory on the list takes care of this problem for you. And this is a quick release owl plate. This is something that you can fix on the bottom of your A6400 and mount a microphone on the side. Now this is great because it means that you can have audio which is external. You never really wanna use the onboard audio on an A6400 or for any camera really for that matter. You wanna produce the best audio you can so that you can serve your followers or anyone that's watching your videos. But this is a quick release owl plate which you can use vertically or horizontally. And the great thing about this is you can just put it on and take it off. Also you have access to your main features on the external of the camera. So you can get to your battery, your memory card, and you can get to all of the other external features. Something that's really good about this owl plate is it actually acts as an extra grip. So what do I mean? Well, if you've got big hands and you're using the Sony a6400, you're gonna find it quite small in your hands and maybe a little bit uncomfortable to hold. But with this owl plate bracket, this gives you more to hold on to, and it's just more comfortable if you've got slightly bigger hands. Probably the best thing about this owl plate though is the price. It comes in at under 20 pound, which is really nothing considering how it helps you. Now, what I'm gonna do in this video is leave links in the description to everything that I discuss so that you can go there. And if you are serious about improving your Sony a6400 and getting the right accessories for it, you can just click on them links and they will take you directly to the products. I do make a small commission on the sales. I wanna put that out there, but this really helps to grow my channel and really help me get more videos out for you guys to enjoy. Next accessory on the list is very similar to the owl plate, but it's the step up, and this is the cage. Now the cage is different in that it goes all the way around the outside of the camera, and it acts as a protection for the camera, as well as giving you access to mount different accessories on the outside. Now, an interesting thing about the cage is, if you're used to using your microphone on top, you can still do it because this gives you access to the top right hand side, which means that you can mount your microphone here and that doesn't mean that you have to mount it on the side. You've also got sidearm attachments, which means you can mount other things like LED lights or other accessories which you need for your setup. You have access to all external areas of the camera, including the battery, the memory card and all dials and external areas. The cage gives you more flexibility than the owl plate, but if you just want a microphone to add on and you want a bit of extra grip, then the owl plate will be sufficient. But if you want more attachments and you want extra protection, then the cage is going to suffice you a lot better. So the cage comes in currently at around about $29, so it's priced really well. It's solid, it's robust, and it's gonna protect your new camera. The third accessory is a very obvious one, as you will see in a moment, but this is so important. You buy your camera and the first thing that you need to know is it's not going to come with one of these. This is a memory card. And this specific one is a 64 gigabyte 
and it's an Ultra SanDisk. Now, I actually recommend you stepping up to the Extreme or the Extreme Pro. It's about an extra three pound. It gives you quicker writing speed and it's just gonna perform slightly better. But these are really cheap. You can get them for around about 17 pound. You can obviously store all your photos and video on your camera, which let's be honest, you can't do unless you have a memory card in it. So this is really important. You can buy these obviously off Amazon, otherwise the link will obviously be down in the description area. The next accessory on the list is a really important one because the one thing I found with the Sony a6400 and a lot of cameras in that price range is that the battery power is particularly poor. So you get around about 300 shots or 350 shots and not lots of video time. So you're gonna need more than one battery. So if you buy a Sony battery, it's gonna knock you back around about 64 pound. And that's a lot of money when you've just spent eight to 900 pound on the camera. So what I recommend doing is using a third party battery. Now I've tested batteries, many of them over the last couple of years for my different camera setups. And one of the best brands that I've found is a brand called RavPower. Now you can actually get a two battery setup with a charging system like this for around about 25 pound. That's really cheap when you think you can only buy a single battery from Sony for 64 pound without a charger. The actual battery power on these are so similar to the Sony batteries, you really can hardly notice the difference. And I've had these batteries now for around about five months and I haven't noticed that they've lost any power, which is one of the first things that you usually start noticing on third party batteries. So if you wanna save some money and you haven't really got the money to buy the Sony batteries, then you definitely wanna check out a cheaper alternative like the RAV power setup, which is two batteries and also your charger. The final accessory on the list today is a screen protector. Now this seems like something that's very trivial, but when you spend a lot of money on a new camera, the last thing you wanna be doing is going ahead and scratching the screen. Also, you may want to sell the camera on in a year or two and upgrade to another camera. If you've got scratches all over the screen, it's not gonna fetch as much money. So if you want to keep your camera in great condition and you're serious about that, you can actually get some screen protectors for next to nothing. Now you have two choices here. You can buy the ones which are anti-glare, which are slightly more expensive at around about 10 pound. Otherwise you can choose the ones which are not anti-glare and I think they come out at about three or four pound. Of course, the links will be in the description. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys on the top five accessories that you should consider for the Sony a6400. If you've got any comments, please leave them down in the comment section below or even any other accessories which I haven't discussed in this video, which you'd like to share with the community. I wanna thank you for watching today's video and being part of it. And also if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell to be notified of new videos every single week. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a great one and I'll see you in the next video.